Hey guys and gals, this is Cal from Dirty Weasel, and welcome back to the Skyrim Special Edition Modding Guide. As you all know, sometimes when modding your game, you want two different things, but because the mods that do them are changed in the same file, you can't have both. Luckily, in some cases, it is a very easy thing to make your own changes to combine the different functions. In this video, we are going to discuss control mapping and editing the control map.txt file to make it do what we want. I've got an example of two mods that each do their own thing, but in the end, one of them will do both. Let's get started. Alright, let's get started here, and basically, you know, let's talk first about me. I know, because it's all about me. I am a Neanderthal. I may have mentioned that in an earlier episode. I'm a Neanderthal, and basically I use a controller when I play Skyrim. I don't when I play other like shooter games like Fallout or anything else, but for Skyrim, I'm still stuck with controller because that's what I learned on it. I can't play it otherwise. So, one of the mods that I use on a regular basis to get over certain limitations of using a controller with a PC game is a mod called Hotkeys with Controller. Uh, it's on the special edition. It's mod number 1942. And basically, it allows me to have hotkeys on the PC keyboard while using a controller. Not much to this, but basically, that's what I do. Recently, I saw a mod come up that was solving a little niggle I had. And that is a mod called Hold to Sprint, and it's mod number 12220. It is done by XXT65XX. And what it does is corrects the little thing that Skyrim Special Edition does. You know how in, in Legendary Edition, you could hold down the Alt button and release the Alt button, and when you had it down, it would sprint. And when you release it, you'd stop. Well, in Special Edition, when you hold down the Alt button, it only toggles. Right? So you hit it once to start sprinting, and you hit it again to stop. Or you might run into something, and you'd stop sprinting, or you'd run out of stamina, you'd stop sprinting. Well, a lot of people really hated it. And I didn't like it either, because on controller, it would do the same thing. I'd hit my bumper, and I would start sprinting. I'm not holding my bumper anymore. Why is it still sprinting? Well... I had to hit it again to stop, or I had to run into something, or run out of stamina. It's really, really annoying. So I thought, well, hey, you know what? This is a SKSE mod. It probably works just fine. And I went and tested it out, and I found out something. My hotkeys with controller didn't work anymore. That's because both mods use the same control mat dot text file to make changes in your game. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just show you. We'll download hotkeys with controller. Just and download it manually. And we're going to do the same thing with hold to sprint. We'll just go to the files and grab the most recent version and download that manually and put them both on my desktop. But I have them right here. So let's open both of these up. We don't even need to extract them or anything like that. We can just go ahead and look at the data files. This is hotkey with controller. This is the one I was using. When you look at data, interface, controls, PC, control map dot text. And then you have hold to sprint SSE. Inside of that one, you have data, interface, scripts, and an ESP. That's because scripts are for SKSE and you need source for that. And then you need an ESP to make everything work. So, but in interface, you have interface, controls, PC, control map dot text. So what's happening is when you load this into your mod organizer of choice, for me, that's mod organizer two, or you can use Nexus mod manager or vortex or whatever it is. You can only have one because they're overriding the same file and they are different. Let's talk first about the control map dot text. I'm going to close both these archives down. Where do you get that folders or where do you get that file to see it? Well, you open your Skyrim special edition main directory and you go to data. And you scroll down and you look at a BSA and you're looking for interface. Well, I don't have, there's no way of opening a BSA without a Bethesda archive extractor. Okay, that's what we'll need to do first. Go in your modding tools, you grab Bethesda archive extractor, open it up, drag it in there. And we're going to need to extract it to a temporary file. We'll just call it interface. Put that on my desktop. And we're going to extract it out into this folder so we can see what's going on because I don't want to extract it back into my main directory. That would just be weird. We're going to desktop, and we're looking for interface, and we just go ahead and select that folder. 
Now inside there, we have the contents of that interface.bsa. We have strings, a whole bunch of strings. Don't really care about that. But in the interface folder, we have controls, just like we saw, PC, control map dot text. Let's do something. We'll open that up. I'm just going to open it up with Notepad++, but you can use it with just regular Notepad. But in Notepad++, it allows me to see things a little more clearly. You're going to see a bunch of things here. All these numbers are control mapping that the game uses for all your different keys for the different menus. This is for main gameplay. This is for menu mode, console, items, all these different things. I'm going to delete that one because I've got a control map dot original for demonstration purposes that I've kind of fixed things up so we can see things. I've also got on my desktop the control map that I've renamed control map underscore sprint for hold the sprint. I've got a control map underscore hotkeys that is for control for hotkeys with controller. And then I have the original that came out of the interface. I've, what I've done is gone through in Notepad++ and reformatted it. Because if you start opening these things up and it will look different to you if you open up any of the originals from these mods. And that's basically just for demonstration purposes so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the original control map underscore original. This is the one provided by Skyrim. And you can scroll down and take a look at different things. Okay, now that it's formatted correctly, and all I did was, you know, kind of push them all around so they all line up correctly. There we go. See how they all line up correctly. Now you can see all the changes that the different ones make. So this is the original. This is the one from the hold to sprint. And this is controller hotkeys. So now I can see exactly what the changes were between the two mods and then compare it to the original to see exactly what hold the sprint did. So you just kind of glance down. I can tell you right now down here in the wait and journal, it's making some changes. Oh, there's a big one sprint. Unsurprisingly, it changes the sprint controller key binding. So it changes the function of them a little bit differently. Original. We'll highlight both of these compared to hold the sprint. It's changing the last variable, which is the RG flag. If you can look at control map for hotkeys, it'll tell you what all the different columns mean. But you can see that's what it's doing. You scroll down, you start looking at everything else that changes. You see some changes in the journal and pause between the two. The journal and pause are have been kind of moved around a little bit and these last two fields down here have been removed for control to sprint or hold to sprint. And you just kind of scroll down, take a look at the different things. The reason why I'm telling you this is that you can make changes very simply by comparing any mod that changes the control map dot text file. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to take the changes from control map underscore sprint. Remember, I just renamed it the one from hold to sprint. I want to add the changes from hotkeys with controller. Let's compare those two. The section that we're looking for is hotkeys, these 38 through 45. These sections right through here. If I look at the hotkey section for 38 and compare hold to sprint to hotkeys with controller, you can see the changes. Let's just highlight both those columns rows so you can see the changes exactly. Hot key number one, 0x02, comma, 0x4f, blah, 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 across for hold the sprint. You can see for hotkeys with controller, it changed this column right here, which is RKB from 000 to 100, and it removed the G flag. Okay. And you can see it kind of does similar changes all the way down the line for the different hotkeys, one through eight. Let's just flash back and forth so you can see the changes. One other thing to keep in mind is you now have to compare hotkeys with controller to the original and do the same thing. You can see before hotkeys with controller compared to the original, hotkeys with control removed all these entries. There you go, left to right, you can see all the changes. 
it added ones into this column and it removed all these 0x98 references. They get the point. What I did, this gets into what my final editing was, but you can go through and do the same thing with all these different columns and all the different mods that you want to look at. I've got a control map edited that can find all the changes from hold the sprint and the hotkeys into one edited file. We put them both in the same place so we can compare what I did. This is the original. This is hold the sprint. This is hotkeys with controller. And this is the final edited version that made combine all the changes into one. With that said, you can do the same thing with any other mod that you want to combine two different functions. Just go through, make the changes, find out what you want to change, and then simply edit it in the text file and then save it. That is my control map edited. I'm now going to rename that and delete the edited part. And that's the file that is control map dot text. Now, inside of mod organizer, I've got hold to sprint. The reason why we're not going to mess with hotkeys with controller is because hold to sprint has an SKSE component that I need to have to make the hold to sprint work. But I just changed the control map to include the hotkeys with controller. So we're going to install that one first. You see data, right click, say data directory, interface, scripts, and the ESP. I'm going to press OK. And we're just going to, you know, kind of activate it and slide it on up. And it can go basically anywhere because all it's doing is changing some values in the control map.txt and, you know, doing a few other things with SKSE. So I need to have it below SKSE 64, but it can be basically anywhere after that. It doesn't change anything else. So the next step would be to open that mod with Explorer. And you can see the original interface, controls, PC, and the control map.txt. I'm going to take the one that's in the folder and delete it. And then I'm going to go back onto my desktop and take the one that was edited. Remember this one? This control map.txt with all the changes in it. Remember, it doesn't have any entries down here at the bottom. That's why I had to reformat it so you could actually see all the changes because this is just messy, 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 messy. So I had to reformat it so you can see all the changes. I'm now going to put that in its place. All you're getting in the whole to sprint interface controls PC is the control map dot text is the new one that I edited in. I'm going to close it. So when we check mod organizer again, just check the file structure. We don't need to open up Explorer on this. We still have interface. Controls PC and a control map dot text. We can open it up and take a look at it if we wanted. There it is. We have ones in that first column nothing in the last before it was all zeros with the 09 x 908 and you can do basically the same thing with any mod just can train change the control map dot text it's easy peasy let's go in the game and find out if it all works all right so we're in game and fiona's in my way again so this is a good straight area to take a look at what we're going to be doing and we're going to test first the hold to sprint i'm using my controller and it is the left bumper. I'm just going to run forward, flick my hold to sprint, flick and release, flick and release. It is not requiring me to toggle it. So it's just kind of, you know, just letting me run in a little short burst as a sprint. That's all it is. All right. So that works. The SKSE mod is working and the edit changes haven't prevented the hold to sprint from working as desired. Obviously with the keyboard, that would be your alt button. All right, next thing, let's go ahead and test these uh, weapons I've got on me. I'm going to favor them because that is the hotkeys with controllers requirement. I need to favor these items, go into my favorite menu, and then I can assign different things. I'm gonna assign one just by pressing the one on my keyboard, two and three. So now I've got hotkeys. Without the hotkey with controller, I've tested this enough times, it won't work. Toggle that out. See, I'm going to press one, two. My arrows went away. Arrows are back. And now three, 
for my bow. So all my hotkeys work as well. And I can still sprint. There we go. I'm holding it down, but as soon as I release right now, boom, I stop. And we're back on our desktop. Simple thing, control map, texting and editing is a very easy thing you can do yourself. You don't need to have a bunch of mods to do it. As long as you know what you're changing and combining two mods together, it's relatively simple. I have submitted my edited control map dot text to the original author of Hold to Sprint. So maybe he'll add it to his mod. But in the meantime, in a very rare thing, I'm going to add a G drive link in the description so you can get my control map dot text that controls both the hotkeys with controller and hold the sprint. Obviously, it will require that you download the mod hold to sprint mod number one, two, 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 zero to make it work because you still need the SKSE components. I'm not going to download the entire mod, just the control map dot text that you can swap out inside of mod organizer or Nexus mod manager by deleting the old control map dot text and add the one in. But I don't want to put it on the Nexus. I'm going to leave that up to the mod author for Hold to Sprint if he wants to put that up. But I will allow you as my viewers, because I love you, to have it. That's all I got for now, guys. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel. And I'm signing off.